Welcome to the Elementary Curriculum Night. I am pleased to be able to record this information session for you. My name is Janet Leet and I serve as the elementary principal here at CCLS. Let us begin with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of today. We thank you that we have the opportunity to share the Word of God with every elementary student each day. Thank you for the parents who have valued the gift of Christian education. Thank you that we are able to be in school in person. We ask you to be with our country during this time. Please provide healing to those who are struggling. We ask you to continue to bless our children and our families throughout this year. In your name we pray, amen. Each year, CCLS has a new school theme. This year, our theme is Faith, Hope, and Love. It is based on the Bible reference of 1 Corinthians 13.13. 13. These three remain faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. This slide is an illustration of our Christian Character Formation Project. Each student, down to our littles, littlest ones, knows the response to, Who are you? I am a child of God, loved and saved through Jesus. Every day we discuss, why am I? What is my purpose? I'm called to make God known to the world. How shall I live? What are the actions that I will take? We have lots of virtues that we talk about throughout the year. This, year, this week might be the virtue of diligence. I live a diligent life, loving God and my neighbor. Throughout the year, we focus on the seven virtues of integrity, respect, diligence, responsibility, self-sacrifice, justice, and courage. Each of these virtues appears many times during the year and is connected to a Bible story. The students are involved in heartfelt discussions around these virtues. Charge your newsletter. How do you keep current on all of the happenings at CCLS? It is our goal to have you look in one place each week for the school information. Every Friday, you will receive by email our school newsletter, The Charger. We encourage you to carve out a little time on your weekend to read The Charger. If you're not receiving that weekly email, please check your spam settings. And if you're still not receiving it, please contact Megan Moreland, the elementary administrative assistant in the elementary office. Another place to access information is our newly designed website. When you go to www.ccls-stlouis.org, you will see a tab in the upper right corner that says My CCLS. Click on that and you will find everything from school uniform information and orders to lunch menus to calendars and many other bits of information. We have many procedures on our campuses. Each morning, we're asking you to do a health assessment at home on your child. While you do not need to report to the results to us this year, we are encouraging you to keep your child home if he or she isn't feeling well. A day of precaution helps to prevent the spread of any contagious disease. Our other protocols for now are that everyone is wearing masks inside the building. When we are outside, we can take our masks off. We are so happy to be together at school that we are doing everything we can to stay in school. We use hand sanitizer to gel in and gel out of our classrooms. Thanks for your cooperation with these procedures. Teammates is the volunteer organization of CCLS. Mrs. Marlena Spurbeck is our teammate coordinator. The purpose of teammates is to give our supporters an opportunity to be involved in a way that is comfortable and rewarding for them. We have spots for IT people, handy men and women, as well as lunchroom helpers, library helpers, and classroom coordinators. To volunteer with teammates, go to our website on the home page, click on Community Life, and click on Teammates. You will see this chart. Notice that the leaders are already in place. You are signing up to be a helper. Right now, we especially need volunteers in our lunchroom, and soon our library program will be opening. Thanks to those of you who've already signed up. All of our K-8 students wear school uniforms each day. The uniform shirts are available for purchase from our design
uniform shirts are available from our designated vendor. The uniform order is a tab on the MyCCLS page of the website. Uniforms may be ordered throughout the school year. Uniform bottoms may be purchased through our vendor or may be purchased at other local stores. Fridays are spirit days and the students may choose to wear CCLS t-shirts instead of their uniform shirts. These t-shirts may include theme t-shirts, present and past, carnival shirts, CCLS sports, and t-shirts of other CCLS names. Uniform bottoms should be worn with the t-shirts. Seesaw. The Seesaw app is one way that our teachers and students share with you what is happening during the day. Your child's teacher will provide the classroom link for Seesaw. Students love to share pictures with you and may also share a special reading with you. Be sure to update your Seesaw app periodically. Educate. Educate is the place that the parents can see the students' grades for assignments and tests. At the end of the quarter, you will also be able to view your child's report card on Educate. There is also a directory on Educate if you need to access contact information for your child's classmates. Kindergarten families and new families will receive an email from Megan Moreland with your login information for Educate. If you haven't received that email, please contact Megan. Also, if you are a returning family and cannot log in to educate, Megan can help you with that as well. Our kindergarten families probably won't see a lot on educate, but certainly our third and fourth grade families are going to want to check that very often to see grades and assignments that are due. Lunch program. Once again, we are thrilled to offer a nutritious and delicious hot lunch program. New this year is that families need to create and fund up front their lunch account using My Kids Spending. You will find a link to this program under the My CCLS tab on the website. Families need to put in their lunch and milk orders by Sunday evening for the upcoming week. The orders will be locked at 8 p.m. on Sunday. Remember that one milks come with one milk comes with the lunches. So only order milk with a hot lunch if your child wants a second milk. Milk is available for 35 cents. Lunches are $4 and an extra entree with the lunch is $1. Bright Wheel. Bright Wheel is the app that we use in K-8 for checking in and out of our kid care program. It's also the app used in ECE for checking those children in and out. If your child is registered for kid care, then you will receive an invitation to Bright Wheel. Bright Wheel will then assign you a code. You can always change your Bright Wheel code to something you will remember. It's easy to check out your students when you have the Bright Wheel app on your phone. If you need help with Bright Wheel, once again, contact Megan in the elementary school office. Terrific Tuesdays. This year, we are happy to once again offer our Terrific Tuesday classes. There will be three six-week sessions. They are offered on Tuesdays from 3.30 until 4.30. There will be charges for these classes. In the past, these classes have included chess, American Girl doll, Legos, blanket making, Little Vet School, Mad Science, and cooking. The first set of classes will begin October 5th. More information and registration forms will be sent by email in the middle of September. Drop off and pick up procedures. Morning drop off. The front door is open at 7.55 a.m. Students should remain in their cars until that time. At 7.55, the doors will be open. Parents of students in kindergarten through fourth grade are not allowed in the building at this time. Students may be dropped off in the front circle. No parking is allowed in the front circle. Parents may choose to park in the parking lot. The area directly in front of the school will, will be marked as a pedestrian only area during drop off times. End of the day pickup at the elementary campus. There are two options for pickup at the elementary campus. All students, unless they are going to kid care, should be picked up by 3.30. The preferred method for pickup is to use the drive-through line. 
For the drive through line, the preferred entrance is the one by the YACC, the YAC, Youth and Community Center building. Follow the line around that building, through the playground lot, over the hill, and around the west lot to where the students will be standing. As you pull up next to the students, we ask that you please remain in your vehicle. A teacher will walk the students to your car. It is very helpful if you put a sign on your front dashboard with the last name and grade of the student you are picking up. Please share this pickup information with anyone who will be picking up your students. No pickup parking is allowed in the middle of the east lot. If you are parking to get your student, park in the west lot. Thank you. Also, the pickup line is much shorter around 320, so you may want to plan to arrive around that time and use the pickup line. The classes will stand in their cohort groups beginning with kindergarten at the north end and fourth grade at the south Watson Road end. Parents may also choose to park in the lot near the playground, the west lot, walk over to the east lot where the students are standing, pick up the students and walk them back to the car on the west lot. Rainy day pickup. Well, we've already experienced several of those rainy day pickups. So we will have the children in the gym, Cars should proceed through the drive through pickup line around the east parking lot and continue to the circle drive in the front of the church. Students will be called out to the cars. Please be sure to have the students' names clearly visible on the front dashboard. Parents, again, could also park in the west lot and walk to the circle and wait for their students to be called to the circle. Cars waiting for any middle school students riding the shuttle bus should wait in the west lot for the students to arrive. Early childhood parents should park in the west lot and enter the building through the front school's doors, wearing their masks, of course. Any students who have not been picked up by 3.30 will be taken to the office to call their parents. Kid Care. Our Kid Care program is open for our K-8 students. The morning Kid Care program is open from 6.45 until 7.55. Afternoon Kid Care is open until 6 o'clock. Anyone desiring to use Kid Care must complete a Kid Care registration form. This is available on the My CCLS tab of our website. Please fill out this form to complete the registration for your child for the Kid Care before and after school program. If you're not sure of your child's schedule, you may leave that portion blank and put in the notes that you have a variable schedule. If you've completed the paperwork for using Kid Care, you will receive a door code that will unlock the front door during kid care hours. If you've forgotten your code or are just an occasional user, you may ring the silver doorbell that is located on the wall by the front school door. We do have a shuttle bus that runs between our two campuses. Here's the schedule. Leaves at 7.30, leaves the middle school at 7.50 and heads back to elementary. In the afternoon, it leaves the elementary at 3, arrives at the middle school at 3.15, and heads back and arrives at the elementary campus at 3.30. The shuttle bus arrives and departs from the front of the elementary building. This is the end of my presentation. Now you're going to want to click onto any of the teacher's presentations to hear about your students' classrooms. We're so happy to have each of you as a part of the CCLS family. I know I've shared a lot of information with you, please do not hesitate to reach out to me with questions. I love serving you and your children. God has put us in this place together.